Hello, my name is Casey Whalen. I'm the writer, director, and creator of We're Alive. Summarize what We're Alive is all about. This may take a while. Oh, God! Look, I'm not leaving without it. Keep your weapons close. <sighs> They're almost to the door. Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Too late. We're Alive is a serial radio drama. It's about three soldiers trying to find a way to survive in a world that's just completely overridden with, well, frankly, zombies. We're Alive has the story of survival, and then We're Alive has Descendants, which is the aftermath of what happens after We're Alive. And Gold Rush is sort of a bridge between those two worlds. It lets us say goodbye to a couple old friends and hello to a couple new ones as well. I had everything Nick said. I wanted to make Gold Rush because I wanted to make something funny. It tastes like... <laughs> Dude, stop licking me! What are you doing? Like you could find your junk out of that huge. When looking back at We're Alive and deciding which stories to continue, I really had something special with these four soldiers. The way that they interacted with each other, the way that they corresponded with each other in the field was something truly unique. Yeah, pass them down to us when you're ready. Michael, you're a little slut. The great thing about Gold Rush is we have all the producers are all the other actors. So I was able to have the actors come in and interact and read with the script as I went along through each stage and creating something very dynamic and actually being able to get their input and feedback along the way. Yeah, the Carl and Robin's uh, sex scene was something that we didn't think we should add, but we did it last night. <laughs> this story came out of the pages of We're Alive, the original storyline. We've taken the story in places that I am so excited to go with, an adventure that you're actually gonna be enthralled with the entire time, and that is just a fun journey for the audience and also all the characters that are going along with Keep it. Up. This is the best place ever! <laughs> From there, after the script was all created, it was a long process of finding the right money to pay for everything. We wanted to make Gold Rush the way that we wanted to make it. And unfortunately, that tends to be a little bit costly. So we had to find a partner out there that was going to allow us to do this project the way that we wanted to. And we found that in Podcast One. And this is the end result. The, the lead ingot will represent the gold bar in Gold Rush. The first stage is obviously the recording stage, where we take all the raw voices into the computer and make sure that they're captured as clean oh, as we can. Actually, I'm doing my mic test. Actually, I'm trying to test my mic, and everyone keeps talking. And I don't understand why. All I'm saying is I want some goddamn respect around here. Ew. That's probably as loud as I'm gonna get. Recording Gold Rush is difficult because our cast is all over the place. We have people in Georgia, Louisiana, and a majority in LA. I am also a big fan of recording everyone in the same place at the same time, as much as possible. Being able to get everyone in the same space and letting them interact with each other gives you an authenticity and a real natural feel that you won't have unless everyone is in there interacting with each other. That it? And me, I love to be in that space too. I like to be in there with the actors as they're performing um, because I like to be an actor-director. I like to be there with the actors in the thick of it and really make sure that it had that same organic feel that the original series had. Forced fun, everybody. Uh, the next stage is we go through and we have to make the arduous process of selecting all the takes that are good. That's determining, okay, does this take match this one? Does this one work with this? Uh, what's the pacing in here? How does this work? That's really the longest process. So you can see the sound. One of the hardest things about Gold Rush is finding where to make the cuts. We had so much good material in terms of the improvisation of these comedians and just the banter back and forth between the cast. I don't have my mouth barrier. Your mouth barrier? Casting for audio is very difficult because you not only have to make sure that they can act, but that their voices are different from each other. Floor it, Muldeen. We had over 3,000 people audition for two roles alone. And the big thing for this project was to find our celebrity voice. So open the door. Get back there and take off your pants. The backbone of Gold Rush and all of We're Alive's productions is Pro Tools. It's the editing software that we use that lets us basically do whatever we want with sound. We can take the performances, manipulate them, change them, and have thousands of alternate takes to choose from if we want to. Uh, because of the software's versatility and the way that we record in our studios, it really lets us do whatever we want. Kill Carl! Kill Carl! Kill One of the fun things about Gold Rush is, as I was writing it, I was designing it for sound. I was writing it for the intention of doing things like audio montages and doing things in storytelling that audio has never done before and up until this point hasn't been able to do. I've run out of tracks. I've never had this happen before but there are so many elements. Gold Rush would not be possible if we did not have an amazing crew behind the scenes. Uh, Brian Lincoln and Michael Keane on our sound design team are doing things that I haven't even heard of before. I am constantly surprised by some of the things that end up on our timeline. 
we went through great lengths with Gold Rush to achieve a sonic authenticity. We went out in the field to make sure we got the right buggy sounds, we made sure we got the right horses. Everything that it is crafted inside the sonic world is intentional and designed inside the world we're alive. A boot. We'll go through, do Outside. custom footsteps that will match each character. We'll go through and also do things that are very unique, like work with radios. Anything that a human touches in the story, we're pretty much recreating in sound. The way that somebody moves and the way that somebody interacts with an object grounds their voice in the reality of sound. So by connecting a voice with footsteps through Foley, we're actually able to make it seem like they live in the world and things aren't just floating in an ether space. So for instance, if a character is walking in a scene and we have to move either slow or fast or they're tired or even drugged up, we have to mimic those footsteps and recreate them with sound ourselves in the post process. Good at least, you know, like, right? Hey, Puck, how much time we got? The music for Gold Rush is amazing. I have been working with Danny Burkhoff Hopkins for many years now with We're Alive, but this takes the cake. We are actually integrating it in early processes of the edits so that we can actually do more with music. So the music will slow down, it'll speed up, it'll react to the characters in the scene, it'll do things that music can do dynamically that won't be done in film because audio is a little bit more expressive. We also have some original songs in Gold Rush that we've never done before. There are actual musical acts that are included inside of Gold Rush that are full musical numbers. And it's really cool because we're actually going to be offering the soundtrack as well when we release it uh, as a podcast. Gold Rush has been hard for me. I'm struggling to be able to do Foley on my own anymore because of some health issues uh, with my hip. It is not easy, and dealing with a company who's financing the project but, and being a liaison between them is, is difficult. Gold Rush has taken a long time to come out. I know that, the fans know that, but I do want to make sure that they know that we're not making any compromises. We are creating something that is truly unique, and they're going to love it, and there are no corners being cut. because. I will not cut time for quality, ever. That's a wrap on principal recording for Gold Rush. Yeah, yeah, it's official, baby. We done. All of this, all of this. Yeah. About damn time. Two years. Ugh. We could have a whole backstory of just Muldoon and Robbins, and I think it'd be fun. Uh, Minus Robbins, though. <laughs> <laughs> just Muldoon. <laughs> 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 the one with the Muldoon angle. Muldoon and Muldoon. <laughs>